that's such a cooler way to discover something about somebody organically because it's more believable. If I just approach you and say, hey, I do five things, you're not gonna believe me that I'm proficient and you might even think I'm lying. All right, so a lot of people want to know what's the best way to network. And I just want to speak on this briefly because the subject came up recently about what do you do if you have a few different talents? You might draw, you might paint, but you might also do video. You might do music, but you might do content. You might be a graphic designer, but you dance. And there's a whole bunch of things that you're, in your eyes, proficient at. But the question becomes... When you get into circles where you're around individuals who you might only see one time in one instance, what is the best way to lead forward in introducing yourself and speaking about what you are good at and what you like to do for the sake of either collaboration or just getting your name out there, etc.? And some interns uh, with Reach Records were talking about this as well, and there was kind of a debate where one perspective said, you know what, I'm gonna let somebody know, I'm gonna shoot my shot. I'm gonna let them know that I do one, two, three, four, and five different things because I know I'm good at all of them and I just wanna put myself out there. And the other school of thought was, well, why would you say you're good at five things? Because uh, the person is just gonna look at that and say, you're not focused enough, and then move on to somebody who exclusively is proficient at that one thing. I tend to agree with the latter. Um, there's never a situation, here's the thing, you got to look at building relationships like dating, even though um, you're not dating the, your business partners or, or your potential collabor uh, collaborative uh, individuals. It is just like dating though, or just like relationship building in the sense that when you just meet somebody, you don't vomit information about yourself on them. It starts with a hello and a hi it might evolve into a how is your day. The how is your day might evolve into how is your week. How is your week might evolve into, you know what happened to me today? I want to let you know about this. And conversation and depth in a relationship um, continue to snowball into more depth. And the same thing with a business relationship. Um, however, here's the, the issue that you guys find yourselves in. You'll say, well, hey, conscience, what do I do if I'm not gonna see this person again? I only have one, you only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. You know what I mean? What if it's that type of scenario? And my answer is very simple. You guys, so many people are so worried about losing one opportunity. And it's a really short term mindset because what it says is, is the only way I'm gonna be successful is if I stumble across an opportunity that I take full advantage of, and that's how I'm gonna go off to the moon. And the thing is, is you can't measure that. You can't track that. You can't guesstimate how many of those rare opportunities you're gonna get, and you also can't pre-prepare in terms of what you're gonna say, how you're gonna look, how you're gonna have it all together. And a lot of times those opportunities, if you're working hard enough, come out of nowhere. You, you can't even anticipate them. It's not like you're going to be like, oh, well, Jay-Z is going to be in town on Saturday this weekend. And he's going to be at this coffee house and I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to, you get to prepare a whole presentation. No, these things happen like, oh, such and such is happening tomorrow night. Oh, this weekend we're going to see such and such, but we don't know how it's all going to play out. Always lead with your best foot forward and let somebody hear about everything else later on. In fact, it's more surprising that way. There's nothing cooler than me being like, oh, well, I knew that you danced, but dang, you're a heck of a graphic designer. Or, or man, I didn't know you, I knew you played the piano, but man, you play guitar too? You know, it's like, that's such a cooler way to discover something about somebody organically because it's more believable. If I just approach you and say, hey, I do five things, you're not gonna believe me that I'm proficient and you might even think I'm lying. And especially in a one minute period, if I'm talking to you for the first time and you're leading forward with that much information, I'm gonna, that's gonna lead me to believe that not only do you probably not do those things proficiently, but if you felt like you had to run up and tell me those things, you're really not that involved in the industry as far as um, the arts, is, arts are concerned at a professional level. 
So always tell somebody the one thing that you do and uh, lead with your best foot and then have your work ethic speak for the remaining things. A, a, an opportunistic mindset that prioritizes random moments rather than daily hard work, chopping away at your goals, building one relationship at a time, sowing that seed, that type of framework will present to you millions and millions of more opportunities than the guy who just kind of works half hard, might arrive, uh, maybe three to five great opportunities might come across that person's desk in a year. Whereas if you're just focused, all offense mentality, meaning you control, you are responsible for the trajectory of your situation, and you put yourself out there and you say, okay, every day, every week, every month, I'm going to pie chart it out. I'm going to bar graph it out. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time networking, which is just telling people what I do. Fans, artists, creatives, people in positions. I'm going to tell one person a day or I'm going to spend an hour consuming this, this much uh, expertise in my field. I'm going to be a better engineer, a better dancer, um, a better listener, a better critical thinker, a better speaker. Um, and you just keep chipping away at both being very good at what you do and learning about what you do and learning about what other people are doing so you can find ways to make your signature different than everybody else's. Um, when they see a silhouette, they know it's you. That's what the branding is. Um, and, and once you start chipping away at all of those things and you're just focused on all of the components and bettering them forward, and you start doing your job at a high level and you start doing a lot of work and you've got a lot of work, that work will speak for you. And when your work speaks for you through people and through the work itself, that voice is super believable because you heard it from somebody else. And so that's the best way to set you up. If you're in a really, if, if there's somebody you aspire to work with or be around or learn from, Always lead with your best foot forward and make sure when you lead with that best foot forward, the visual and audio presentation of that to that individual is on point. The person needs to know that you were prepared for the situation, that you're articulate. You also need to be articulate about yourself. If you can't articulate the expertise and stuff that you provide, I know a lot of people like that, you will never build the relationship because you're not representing your own self in the best light, but lead with the best foot forward. Let that person hear about all the other things that you do, and that'll be a much better setup than just kind of shooting the whole shot right at the beginning and giving somebody um, a really weird vibe about the trustability of what you're good at. I've never heard somebody come to me and say, hey, I'm good at five different things, and then I got excited to go check them all out. I always learned, oh man, that guy's really good at that. And then as I stumble across their page and uh, learn a little bit more about the individual or somebody tells me something else about them and I go, oh shoot, dang, I y'all already knew all this about dude, but I didn't? Oh shoot, let me go tap in and really investigate. And now I'm searching the whole life story of the, of the creative. So hope that was encouraging for you guys. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Peace. It's a trap, it's not just a beat or a